to really understand why Regenix is very different, let's take a look at one of our procedures. What you're about to see your orthopedic surgeon can't do, the guy down the street that does a little bit of ultrasound can't do. So let's take a look at this advanced, precise, guided work. Today we're doing an ACL injection on a patient who didn't necessarily have a tear in her ACL. It was diagnosed with more of laxity. Um, she's been having some knee pain and some hyperextension of the knee, limiting some functional movements like dancing. And uh, she's a high level dancer going to college on a collegiate scholarship. So it's something that she needed to do. And or other orthopedics uh, never really offered her any solutions because nothing was really torn or broken. And on a physical exam, we found that multiple ligaments were loose. And by precise injections, we were able to actually tighten up and prevent that hyperextension moment. So this is our second procedure doing this. Uh, the first one did well, and she went on and was able to do her auditions. She is improving. Now this is a precise injection. We use a live uh, x-ray guided called fluoroscopy. Look on the screen, there's two precise needles. We always target the origin insertion of so the beginning and starting of the ACL, as well as the ACL is create, created by two different bundles, and we'll target both specific bundles. So now we're just injecting contrast dye to strike out part of her ACL. If you don't put a precise injection into the ACL, it'll never get there. Uh, the knee joint's a pretty big joint, so therefore the injection itself probably wouldn't go into the area it, need, it needs to go to. With, all, with the contrast flow, making sure I'm getting all those bundles. As I confirm, I put the, put the platelets in with it, and I got the origin and insertion. Now I got the origin and insertion there. The ultrasound can show all the ligaments and fibers a little better than the, using fluoroscopy. And I can see my needle on the screen. I can inject the superficial. I can get all the way down to the deeper fibers of the MCL. And again, I'm using a 30 gauge needle, which is the smallest needle they make just for the patient's comfort. And you can see as the tissue expands as I inject it. Again, you're able to get all the layers of the MCL and the POL, making sure it's the layer on top as well as the layer on the bottom. If we look on the screen, each, each line is a centimeter, so the tendon length is probably a quarter of that, so only millimeters thick. So to be able to do this by hand would be virtually impossible. In this 30, 40 minute procedure, we've done her ACL, her MCL, her LCL, her posterior oblique ligament, her posterior capsule of her knee, all with platelets, uh, in an attempt to again, caused some stability in the knee. And so far, after just one treatment, she has significantly improved. This should get her where she needs to go.